Please tell me your name. Sir, my name is Mohammad Fatahun Aziz Khan. And your roll number for this exam? Sir, my roll number is 303022. Okay, uh, please give a formal introduction. Sir, my name is Mohammad Fatahun Aziz Khan. I have been born and brought up in Bhubaneswar, which is the <laughs> capital city of Odisha. I have done my schooling from DV Public School Chandrasekharpur and uh, after that I, uh, I did B.Tech in Biotechnology from College of Engineering and Technology Bhubaneswar. After completing my graduation, I uh, did a uh, job in Capgemini India Private Limited as software engineer and uh, in the month in uh, 2015, I left the job and I have been preparing for civil services since then. Okay, so you are from very diverse background as compared to what uh, other candidates are. Yes, so, sir. So um, you were in biotechnology. Yes, sir. Biotechnology. Yes, sir. So uh, why didn't you join a company like Biocon or uh, uh, something like that or BS or something like BS or uh, something like that? Uh, uh, why did you join Capture, which is basically a information technology company? Sir, I had alre already inclination towards civil services since my uh, college period, sir. Okay. So, and uh, truth to be told, sir, in that year, uh, not many biotechnology company had come for recruitment due to the economic slowdown. Okay. So, Which year you uh, passed out? Sir, I passed out in 2013. 13. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, the reason why I joined Capgemini was, sir, uh, in biotechnology, uh, we had f five subjects related to computer science okay. such as C, C++, uh, database management system, uh, data structure and data mining, data warehousing. So there was a, a basic uh, foundation about computer science and moreover sir I wanted to know the uh, culture of private sector and wanted to take up a position of responsibility. Okay. So uh, you have not done the master's degree? Uh, sir, not yet, sir. Okay. So that means you completed your graduation uh, in 2013? Uh, yes, sir. And uh, you were in service from 2013 to? Uh, end of 2014, sir. 2014? Yes, sir. Capgemini. Yes, sir. So 2014 to 2021, you have been preparing for yes, the competitive exam? Yes, sir. And like, what has been the, like, uh, uh, with the result? Yes. I mean, in the sense that uh, you have. Uh, uh, being selected for the interview with this, this obviously you have been selected. Other yes, reasons? sir. Sir, uh, I have uh, my record has been the following, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, in UPSC civil services, I have uh, given four means, okay. but uh, I haven't uh, got an opportunity to appear in the interview as yet. Okay. Sir, I have also appeared in uh, uh, means of Indian Forest Services in uh, four uh, in last four attempts. And I have given two interviews of Indian Forest Services, sir. Okay. And uh, I have appeared in uh, four uh, mains of Odisha Civil Services also. And this time also I have appear I had appeared in Odisha Civil Service preliminary examination. Okay, so if I would, if I would ask you, uh, what is the Suppose let us swap the roles. Yes, sir. You will be in my place and I will be in your place. Yes, sir. So when you see that a person has like uh, five or four or three times person has given an exam. Yes, sir. He has sir. tried hard. Yes, he has sir. also gone to the interview. Yes, but, sir. But uh, has not uh, been able to make it to the final list. Yes, sir. Hmm. Then uh, will you select him or, or you, will you select me? Sir, uh, I would see if the person is growing, if the person has the growth mindset, if the person is improving uh, throughout the period, then uh, it's, I, it, I think it's a positive trait in the person. If, uh, if, he, if he or she has a growth mindset and is improving over the period, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, sir, if I, if I see through my career, sir, initially uh, I uh, cleared mains, but uh, with consistent attempt, I had been able to uh, at attend the interview of Indian Forest Services in my last two attempts. So I see it as a uh, indication of growth, sir. Okay, good. So, uh, like last uh, interview when you uh, when did you which year? Sir, two thousand twenty, sir. Two thousand twenty. Okay. Yes, sir. Fine. 
So what are your optionals for this exam? Sir, my optionals are zoology and uh, forestry. Zoology and forestry? Okay. Yes, sir. But, but you have done B.Tech in biotechnology? Yes, sir. So forestry and zoology completely different subjects than and these are your same subjects in Indian forestry? Yes, also? sir. Yes, sir. What is the reason why uh, and what about civil service? Same subjects? Yes, sir. Okay, so like your uh, uh, domain, of course, there is no biotechnology to be taken in the list. So, uh, what are, if, I, if I ask you to give me three good reasons why you know you have chosen these two subjects? Yes, sir. Sir, first of all, I had interest in zoology. Uh, sir, pardon me, sir. Can, uh, shall I remove my mask or shall I put it up? Yeah, it, it depends on you. It depends on you. Okay. Okay. You can remove the mask. Okay. Thank you, sir. We are like more than 10 to 12 feet. Uh, Thank you so much, sir. Sir, uh, sir, uh, I have following reasons for taking zoology as my optional subject. First of all, sir, I had um, interest in zoology uh, in biology in my school period and I had got one of the highest in biology that is 97 out of 100 in my 12th class. So uh, second reason sir, uh, I did B.Tech in biotechnology and biotechnology and paper 2 of zoology have a lot in common such as cell biology, molecular biology, environmental bi biology etc. And third sir, uh, zoology is a science subject and it is uh, quite static. So if I give to the point answer in the examination. Uh, I believe I have higher chances of uh, securing marks, sir. Okay. It's an objective subject, sir. Okay. So, forestry, okay, let us have some discussion on forestry first. Yes, sir. So, do uh, you know what is uh, compensatory afforestation? Yes, sir. Sir, it. compensatory afforestation, the concept was uh, given by Honorable Supreme Court of India in 2009 mm -hmm. and based on the judgment, uh, CAMPA funds compensatory afforestation and management, uh, management and planning authority uh, funds were created accord, uh, be, according to the judgment if uh, a forest land is diverted for non-forestry purposes then uh, the net uh, present value of the uh, la forest land would be uh, provided by the promoters of the project and would be transferred to CAMPA fund, sir. Okay. And uh, so in uh, forestry, which part is your favorite part or uh, your strongest area? Sir, uh, I have read forestry as a, uh, as not as a part as a holistic so, subject, sir. So, silviculture, you are comfortable with silviculture? Yes, sir. Can you tell me the silvicultural practices associated with SAL? Sir, uh, silviculture, uh, SAL has a low, uh, uh, only seven days of uh, uh, viability, SAL seed. Mm -hmm. So, sir, it's important to collect the seeds as soon as they, f uh, as soon as they fall and to uh, 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 take up uh, regeneration in the nursery and when uh, after uh, growing them in nursery the, uh, the seedlings are then planted in the uh, forest area sir. Uh, the uh, normal uh, normally sir sal is uh, depending upon the area it is either uh, assisted uh, uh, natural uh, assisted natural regeneration or uh, in commercial production it can be a uh, clear felling system or in uh, dense forest areas such as in most of uh, the forest of Odisha it is managed as part of uh, selection uh, it is managed as part of uh, mm -hmm. coop, coop system sir okay can you tell me what is the difference between clear felling and shelter wood system? Yes, sir. In clean uh, clear felling system, sir, um, all the trees are uh, felled in a single operation and uh, the areas are divided into small coops and one coop is taken and uh, all the trees are felled in the region and uh, in the next year, uh, the trees are planted, uh, new seedlings are planted in the felled region and the subsequent coop is then felled. 
in shelter wood system sir uh, it involves sir uh, opening of of canopy uh, to allow light better light conditions inside the forest for regeneration of the seedling sir And uh, you have studied forest insulation. Yes, sir. So, can you tell me how can you calculate the yield uh, from a tree? What are the various formulas? Uh, at least one you can tell me. By volume, volumetric yield of a tree, yield of timber. Sir, um, yield. Sir, yield is the yield is the process to determine the uh, total volume of growing stock in the region, sir. Mm -hmm. So, yield can be determined by, uh, sir. Uh, sir, for, uh, one is sir. Uh, Smith. Uh, there are many formulas such as uh, Smithy safeguarding formula and. Uh, Brandis formula and uh, sir, sorry sir I am not able to recall the formulas okay. right now. Okay, it is fine. So suppose you have to measure the area of a forest, okay, of a huge forest. So um, what is uh, what would be the methods or what are the methods that you know that will help you in uh, doing that? The area of the forest. Yes, sir. So, manual methods or surveying methods or uh, aerial uh, methods. You can tell me if you know uh, any of these. Sir, uh, recently, sir. Uh, Aerial methods are being uh, predominantly used uh, because of their ease of operation and their accuracy okay. such as satellites and drones are being uh, put into operation but sir I am not uh, sure about the detailed uh, method of how forest areas are calculated sir. Okay that is fine. Um, so you know champion and self classification Yes sir. So uh, which is uh, according to that which is the type of uh, tree species that dominates in Odisha. Sir, Sal is the dominant tree of Odisha, sir. Okay. And uh, can you tell me some silvicultural practices related to, uh, I think Sal you have already told me. Yes, sir. Okay. Then second one is, uh, which is the second most common tree you find here? Sir, other trees include uh, Casuarina plantations are being taken up ar uh, along the coast, sir. And Casuarina. Yes, sir. And Casuarina, uh, what is that called in Korea? Sir, Jhaun. Jhaun, uh, it's, okay. yes, sir. So, um, tell me something about that, uh, about the silvicultural practices related to that. Sir, uh, Casuarina is, uh, is a tree uh, which is, uh, which is uh, wind hardy and uh, Sorry sir, I am not uh, able to recall the silviculture practices of Casuarina. Mm -hmm. Okay, so give me uh, at least three to four reasons why you are interested in civil services, especially looking at your uh, dedication and uh, you, know, you have invested a lot of time in that. So you are already uh, settled in a good company and what were the reasons you left number one and second uh, why why are you interested in civil services you are technically qualified to put up you know join uh, your uh, if not uh, you know IT sector then at least uh, related to your uh, educational background which is biotechnology which uh, as a researcher was something as a product developer you could have directly or in a sense you would have helped the farmers can you tell me uh, at least three reasons you give for this yes sir Sir, firstly, sir, I have li I had lived closer to forest and environment during my childhood, sir, due to my father's employment profile. So I had developed a compassion and uh, an attachment towards them, and uh, that is one of the reasons, sir. Secondly, sir, uh, for the importance of forest services is uh, going to increase in future uh, time due to uh, increasing 
issues like climate change, pollution, etc. So forest services can play a pivotal role in environment protection. And sir, thirdly, I believe sir, forest uh, forest services is quite diverse. It provides opportunity to work among the people, protect the environment. Uh, the, pro, contribute to the development of uh, vulnerable sections, those are the tribals and the forest dwellers, as well as contribute to national security, sir. Okay. Fine. So, mm, tell me something about your schooling, tenth you did from, you said, DAE. Okay. Yes, sir. Then uh, your uh, plus two? Plus two from the same school, sir. Same school yes, sir. And um, then your graduation? Graduation from College of Engineering and Technology, Bhubaneswar, sir. Okay. And um, okay, that is your graduation? Yes, sir. So, uh, tell me something about the DAV movement, some, uh, you know, why, and also if you remember the insignia of your school. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, sir, DAV movement uh, it was started uh, after the death of Swami Dayanand Saraswati, which is uh, and it was based on his teachings that uh, education should be an, a tool of empowerment of uh, the people. And uh, the DAV movement was started in 1886, sir, by uh, Lala Hardayal and Lala Lajpatraya, sir. And uh, currently it has around uh, 900 schools affiliating to uh, under its control and uh, many colleges also. Sir, uh, the motto of my college is uh, work is worship and uh, the insignia is a uh, candle light, sir. That a light can, uh, uh, can uh, wash away the darkness, sir the light of education okay, fine. and ignorance, uh, darkness signifies ignorance, sir. Okay, and uh, um, what about your uh, College of Engineering and Technology, insignia of College of Engineering and Technology? Sir, uh, I am not able to remember, sir. Okay, just go through that since your graduation for Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, so, can you tell me at least two or three uh, technologies, okay, or you can, which you can credit biotechnology, okay, with, that have actually helped uh, improve forest management? Yes, sir. Sir, first is plant breeding technique, sir, okay. uh, where the quality of the uh, planting material is uh, is enhanced to through uh, artificial breeding, such as. Uh, transferring uh, favorable characteristics from one plant species to another such as resistant to disease, pests and uh, uh, tolerating uh, harsh environmental conditions. Mm -hmm. Sir, second is sir, uh, the uh, study of uh, uh, the biostatistics, sir. Biostatistics helps in uh, sensors, forest sensors, tree sensors, um, wildlife sensors, etc. Sir, uh, thirdly, sir, uh, the knowledge of uh, microbiology also helps in providing uh, uh, veterinary services to uh, uh, wild animals, sir, and treat uh, the disease and vaccinate them, sir. Okay. So, uh, coming to some uh, recent uh, developments, can you tell me uh, something about? some state specific programs which are related to the forest department yes sir three, three of them. sir uh, first is amajangal yojana sir which is a flagship species of the uh, flagship uh, program of the odisha government okay. to uh, promote community participation in uh, forest management sir okay uh, second is sir green mahanadi mission okay. uh, which uh, envisages to uh, develop a belt, uh, green belt of uh, one kilometer on both both side of the rivers Mahanadi, Ib and Tail, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, third is sir, uh, Odisha Forest, uh, Mo Jungle Yojana, sir, uh, which has been launched recently. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, under Mo Jungle uh, app, one can see real-time uh, forest management activities in that portal. 
and i would like to add another important uh, program sir which is eco tourism sir which is being uh, which is being promoted and 47 eco tourism destinations have been developed all across odisha sir okay sir uh, thank you sir for your meeting juloju yes sir Can you tell me something about uh, you are talking about uh, genetics and plant uh, breeding? Yes, sir. Uh, so, do you have uh, any idea of the selection techniques like pure light selection, pedigree selection, recurrent selection? Yes, sir. You can tell me the differences between these three. sir uh, pure line selection is uh, based on sir uh, breeding plant, breeding the parent sir and based on the characteristics of the parent uh, parent uh, candidate sir and uh, uh, pedigree analysis is basically uh, gauging the genetic gain of the uh, parent individuals based on the characteristic of uh, the uh, progeny sir And sir, can you repeat the third one, please? Recurrent, recurrent, recurrent selection. Uh, in uh, in recurrent selection, uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the progeny is uh, uh, the progeny is continuously uh, uh, crossed with the parent. Uh, from which the favorable characteristics are gained okay. so you know about different forest bridges yes sir so tell me at least three types of timber bridges in forest that you use sir uh, sir i'm only aware of the simple simple timber bridge sir which was in the course sir i'm not aware of the others okay, okay that's fine um tell me the what are the basic principles of joint forest management and has it been a success in odisha can you give examples of success of failure yes sir sir uh, joint forest management uh, according to the government of india uh, report 2002 joint forest management is an agreement between the forest department and the local population to jointly manage the forest resource and uh, and to equally share the uh, benefits as well as the responsibilities and uh, sir as far as uh, the success or the uh, failure is concerned let me first uh, tell you about the success sir sir uh, joint forest management has provided uh, employment to a number of people sir uh, such as through eco tourism and through their engagement as forest watchers uh, protection watchers fire watchers etc sir and uh, secondly sir uh, it has also uh also helped in uh, uh, in recording the traditional knowledge uh, leveraging the traditional knowledge of the forest dwellers in uh, forest management sir uh, and thirdly sir uh, it has also helped uh, uh, sir it has also helped uh, livelihood opportunities and uh, and sir these are the positives sir uh in negative sir, sir there are certain uh, there are certain issues sir for example uh, uh there are many areas in which uh, uh, one suraksha samitis are no, are not functioning properly sir those these are the joint forest management committees which are known as one suraksha samitis in odisha they are not properly functioning and uh, th- there are also uh, concerns highlighted by experts that uh, uh, some uh, dominant uh, tribes are uh, having an upper hand in this forest and management of this forest and uh, the third concern in uh, joint forest management is that sir uh, uh, many for uh, many uh, tribal representatives they allege that the forest department is uh, 
uh, is interfering too much in the management of joint forest management committees sir so these are the issues but in odisha sir joint forest management has been success to a large extent sir through initiatives such as uh, green uh, jamama jungle yojana and green mahanadi mission uh, which uh, which has community participation at its core and uh, many uh, development activities are also being taken up in forest areas sir so your home district is kota yes sir so tell me something about the forest resources in kota as a percent of geographical area Uh, what percent of Kordas uh, geographical area is covered by forest? Sorry, sir, I'm not aware. So you just go through the state of the forest in 2019. Yes, sir. Okay, okay sir. thank you, sir. At least uh, you, you can basic. Uh, okay. Thank you, sir. And uh, from what is the origin of your name of your district, Korda? Sir. Uh, Sorry, sir, I am not aware. So, you go to your district's uh, NIC district portal. Yes, sir. Portal or NIC or anything. Yes. There you will find all the all these details. Okay. okay Any sir. great personalities, at least two or three from your district, you can name. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, there are many prominent freedom fighters from this district, such as uh, Jai Rajguru, uh, Bakshi Jagabandhu, and uh, sir um, uh, Raja Mukunda Dev. who had played an important role in uh, freedom struggle of india sir okay uh, so currently olympics is going on yes sir paralympics is going on uh, all sir uh, in olympics sir india secured seven medals sir uh, one one gold or uh, two silver and uh, rest bronze sir mm-hmm. and in paralympics india is doing exceptionally well sir uh, sir uh, but i am not sure of the current medal tally in paralympics okay you are aware of the the far reforms which the government of india is uh, trying to bring yes sir okay. so what is your uh, opinion about that and uh, why are the farmers in certain states protesting against it yes sir so the government of india has bought in three farm uh, laws mm-hmm. to uh, reform uh, farm uh, farm farm farmer sector sir uh it basically deals with uh, selling of produce and marketing of uh, farm produce sir sir uh, the the reason why farmers are protesting is because sir they fear that the the msp will be replaced and uh, they have to sell the farmers uh, they have to sell the corporates to uh, they have to sell farm produce to the corporate sector sir okay and uh, secondly sir uh, they believe that man- the importance of mandi will decrease and uh, and uh, they uh, so this is other, another concern sir mm-hmm. and uh, thirdly sir uh, they uh, believe that uh, it is le- it will lead to corporate corporatization of the farming sector sir mm-hmm. and uh, sir uh, so they are demanding they have few demands sir important demands such as uh, providing legal backing to uh, msp or the minimum support price and uh, bringing more uh, crops under msp okay. and uh, in enhancing the msp for the existing crops sir mm-hmm. and basically sir they are demanding repealing of this act uh, but uh, till now there is a log jam and uh, Uh, the the, the uh, protest is still going on 
So suppose uh, you are uh, selected yes, sir. as an ACF yes, and sir. Uh, very important confidential file has been given to you by your senior. Yes, sir. You have to give that file to a higher officer. Yes, sir. While going uh, in the official like uh, you and your driver and then so some people they basically stop you and they put you and your driver okay on gun point and they're asking for that fine. So yes, in sir. that situation what would you do? Sir uh Sir, uh, if it is confidential and uh, and if I sense a danger that that file would be uh, uh, will be uh, will put uh, the department in jeopardy, sir, then I will not provide that file to uh, the people, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, either I'll uh, either I'll hide it or I'll uh, destroy it, sir. But then they are having arms, right? Yes, so sir. So even after injuring you, they can take away the fight. Sir, it is best to, best to destroy it, sir, rather than going into the wrong hand, sir. So, but then in that case also, if you destroy the fight, then they will they will also, you know, they will uh, fire and injure you. Sir. Uh, so, how will you handle it? Okay, that is fine. So my last question to you would be, uh, uh, what is your opinion uh, regarding Government of Odisha's decision to promote uh, or to sponsor the Indian hockey teams both for the next 10 years? Many critics say that since we are a poor state and uh, we are lacking basic infrastructure, healthcare, facilities, etc. Uh, we should concentrate on these more rather than you know spending money on sports. So I have two questions. What is your opinion? Second, now government is investing all this money in hockey or any sports. What return would the government of Odisha get? Okay, after spending this money, sir. Uh, as far as your first question is concerned, sir, the government of uh, Odisha should be commended for uh, for sponsoring the hockey team of India for the next ten years. Uh, it is a welcome step because, sir, uh, sir, uh, it will bring, it will, uh, it, it shows the zeal of the government, uh, the, uh, it shows the intention of the government to promote uh, sporting culture, not only in India, but throughout the, uh, throughout, not only in Odisha, but throughout India, sir. And so, sir, uh, it, uh, and sir, it will bring more investment into the sporting infrastructure. For example, many companies have tied up, such as Tata has tied up uh, with uh, Odisha to uh, with Odisha government to build a complex uh, in uh, Kalinga Stadium, sir. So it will bring more investment, and uh, the uh, goodwill that Odisha government uh, has gained will pro uh, through this, uh, as the Indian men's hockey team has won the bronze medal, sir. Okay. So the goodwill the Odisha government has gained. Uh, it will uh, it will uh, provide more recognition to Odisha, and it will bring more funding and uh, more uh, resources for development of infrastructure, sir. In the overall picture, in the uh, in the uh, when we look at the big picture, sir. So as far as uh, the second question was concerned, uh, was concerned, sir. Sir, can you, sir, please repeat the second question? Uh, I asked basically that. Uh uh, you know, your, uh, I will ask you regarding uh, what will be the tangible gains for Odisha from this. Now, suppose India has won a bronze medal. Yes, sir. Odisha has sponsored the hockey team. Yes, sir. How will the people of Odisha be benefited by that? Apart from the pride and those things, tangibly, how will we be benefited? Do you think we will be benefited in any way? Suppose yes, sir. Tomorrow, or for the next 10 years, Indian uh, hockey team wins all the major tournaments. So, how will it change the life of the ordinary person? Yes, sir. In order, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, um, hockey is considered as uh, the... Uh, Odisha is considered as the birthplace of hockey, sir. The Sundargarh district. 
so uh, odisha government has uh, announced to set up uh, sports complexes in every uh, district sir so it will promote it will help in identification of uh, uh, sports per, of uh, potential talent from an early age sir and uh, uh, nurture them to develop into a good sports person and to bring out their talent in the uh, larger canvas sir Uh, secondly sir uh, when odisha gains fame sir it 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 will promote uh, it will bring more investment it will bring more tourism it will uh, it will uh, sir it will have a, a greater say at the national level sir so uh, social infrastructure uh, can be uh, sir uh, the uh, funding into social infrastructure such as schools hospitals etc can be mobilized more easily Uh, so so these are uh, some of the benefits that odisha is likely to gain from uh, performance of indian hockey team sir okay fine so that will be the end of the interview thank you thank you so much sir apanara uh, evaluation day apanara jo reputation apanara dekhibe sir ta apana repeat korchan bolta okay right? sir to so, seta tike dekhibe anything if you are repeating it Too many times in an interview, maybe the problem is that 20 to 30 minutes of interview over. So that means every sentence, keep very good sentences, the same answer repeat for you. So the same about it. That's why I want to know your sitting posture. That is, you have clasped your hands. Okay, the body language, uh, basically, the theory is all right. This means a sign of nervousness. Okay, okay? sir. Where uh, there is a requirement of support, so both the hands are supporting each other. हाँ, this is like पूरा normal तो नहीं बोलते ना, इंतिर रखते ना क्या नहीं, just I'm too far यहाँ तो पूरा cover कर एक मने normal ही हाँ, सिर्फ ये अपना तो duty comfortably अपना बोल सकते हो, because you will be sitting there for like 20-30 minutes, okay, आओ जो भी अपना बोला है ऐसा तो आओ भी बोलेंगे, so you have given IFS interview ना, तो अपना वो तो सेट ही तो 30 minutes ऊपर है अपना interview, yes, approximately 30 minutes, approximately 30 minutes ना, तो सही सब Uh, this is the correct sitting posture, right? But you be comfortable. If they are not like you are, you know, just <laughs> keep it on your heart. Ah, that will be the correct answer. So, which is your moment, right? And to say that what they got? One big advantage is your smile. You have maintained it. Smile is quite good. Say that both body work are good. Okay, and uh, no guessing or say that any such thing. तो जानना तो डायरेक्टली कॉल दे दीजिए ओके सो आई वुड हैव अ हेड मूवमेंट कोच नॉडिंग ऑफ द हेड राइट सो सपोज दे आर टेलिंग यू समथिंग एंड जस्ट टू व्हेन यू आर अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट दे आर सेइंग ओके जस्ट यू यू नो नॉड योर हेड तो अपन और जितने लिंक का पठा हो अपन को ठीक है सीधा रिव्यू कर दो ओके सर जो इंटरव्यू लिंक का से से ठीक है पहले हेड मूवमेंट है ठीक है कॉम कर दीजिए हां कॉम में है सीधा बाकी सब ठीक अच्छे इफ यू हैव डन वेल इन योर रिटर्न एग्जाम आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग अ गुड रैंक फ्रॉम यू ओके सर थैंक यू सर